This video is for the Inequalities and Absolute Values module. In this video we are looking at exception IEAB E. Now in this video we're going to be looking at graphing linear inequalities. Now as previously seen, the solution to linear inequalities with one variable is a range of values which can be graphed on a number line. Okay, so if x is less than n we have this, if x is greater or equal to n we have that. It is also possible to graph solutions to linear inequalities on a Cartesian plane. Now such linear inequalities are in two variables and that's usually x and y. The two-dimensional representation of these inequalities results in a shaded region on one side of the line. The line that is defined by the equation associated with the given inequality i.e. the equation formed by replacing the inequality symbol with an equal sign so that's all you're doing, you're just replacing the inequality with an equal sign and then graphing that. If the inequality is defined using symbols less than or greater than the line drawn is dashed okay because solutions or values on the line are not included so you can see here that there is a dashed line okay so whenever you have an inequality with less than or greater than you need a dashed line when the inequality uses symbols less than or equal to or greater than or equal to the line drawn is solid because the values on the line do form a part of the solution so if you have less than and equal to or greater and equal to you have a solid line and you can see that solid line on that graph okay Inequalities of the form x is less than c, x is less than or equal to c, x is greater than c, or x, and gre x is greater and equal to c. So we just have a straight line, okay, because we get a vertical line associated with x is c. Inequalities of the form y is less than c, y is less than or equal to c, y is greater than c, or y is greater or equal to c will also have a straight line. It will be horizontal in the form of y equals c. Okay, so for example, graph the following inequalities y is greater or equal to negative 1. Okay, so what I need to sketch is y is equal to negative 1. Okay, and we're dealing with a greater than sign, not a greater than or equal to, so my line is going to be dashed. So for y is equal to negative 1, that's down here, and I want a dashed line okay so that's y equals negative 1 now I want all y values greater than negative 1 so that is there okay so y is greater than negative 1 for x is less than and equal to 4 we have a less than and equal to sign so it's going to be a solid line and we're going to graph x is equal to 4 so for x is equal to 4 we have to go through x is 4 everywhere oops and it should be a solid line just redraw that okay so everywhere on that line x is equal to 4 okay I want x is less than and equal to 4 so that is going to be on that side of the line everything on here has an x value less than or equal to 4 now to graph a solution to a linear inequality oops, sorry in one of the forms y is less than or equal to mx plus b y is less than or equal to mx plus b y is greater than mx plus b or y is greater than or equal to mx plus b the following steps can be used first determine the points on the line y equals mx plus b 
So we can use a table of values or we can use our x and y intercepts. So you're just going to sketch the straight line first. Now sketch the line using the points, remembering it's going to be a dashed line if it's less than or greater than, and a solid line if you've got or equal to. Test points on either side of the line and then shade the appropriate region. So let's look at some examples. For the first one here we have y is less than 2x minus 1. Firstly, it's less than, so we know we're going to have to have a dashed line. That's about the one thing that you will probably forget the most, so highlight it, make sure it stands out. What you're going to be sketching is y equals 2x minus 1. So you're sketching the equation of it. Here's in the form of y equals mx plus b, so I'm going to use a table of values. If I use x is 0, I get y equals 2 times 0 minus 1. 2 times 0 is 0, 0 minus 1 is minus 1. So my first point is 0, negative 1. x equals 1, y is going to be 2 lots of 1, minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, so it gives me the point 1, 1. x is 2, y is going to be 2 times 2, minus 1, 4, minus 1 equals 3, so the point 2, 3. Okay, now to go and sketch that, so 0, negative 1, 1, 1, 2, 3. Use a pencil because you're likely to do solid lines instead of dash and vice versa, so it helps if you can rub it out. Try and do this on the computer. So I have a line something like that. Again, it was meant to be dashed. So if you've done it in pencil, you rub it out and you go, okay, should be a dash line. Okay, arrows on either end because it extends and we label it y equals 2x minus 1. Now we need to figure out which side of the line we need to shade. Now it's always easy to test 0, 0. Okay, and you can always test that as long as the line doesn't go through the origin. So for my testing, if I look at 0, 0, my equation was y is less than 2x minus 1. So testing that, I get my right hand side would be 2 times 0 minus 1, which is 0 minus 1, which is negative 1. Okay, so if I was looking at that, I've now got y with 0. 0 is less than negative 1, and that is false. Okay, so already I'm saying to myself that the right hand side of the line must be the region I need because 0, 0 doesn't satisfy. Okay, I'm still going to test another point just to make sure I'm right. So I'll pick a point on this side or in this green region. Always good to have a 0 in it, so let's pick 3, 0. So if I've got 3, 0, y is less than 2x minus 1. So the right hand side would be 2 times x, which is 3, minus 1, 6 minus 1, which is 5. Now that would mean when I plug it back in, y was 0, is less than 5, and that is true. So all the coordinates on this side of my line satisfy that inequality. So that means that over here is the region y is less than 2x minus 1. Okay, let's look at another example y is greater and equal to negative a third x plus 4. Greater and equal to, so it's going to be a solid line. Table of values. Again, now I've got a third, so I'm going to use multiples of 3 and 0, of course. So x is 0. And we're, sorry, first of all, we're sketching the line, so y equals negative a third x plus 4. So an x is 0 y is equal to negative a third times 0 plus 4, which is 4, so that's my first point. When x is 3, y is equal to negative a third 
times 3 plus 4 negative a third times 3 is negative 1 plus 4 which is 3 so the point 3 3 lastly x is 6 y is equal to negative a third times 6 plus 4 negative a third times 6 is negative 2 plus 4 which is 2 so the point 6 2 put these on my axes so 0 4 3 3 and 6 2 and I need a solid line okay label the line so y equals negative a third x plus 4 now I need to test to find out which side of the line I need 0 0 doesn't lie on a line so let's test it I have my equations y is greater than or equal to negative greater than or equal to negative third x plus 4 so the right hand side would be negative a third times 0 plus 4 which is 4 so that means my inequality would read 0 is greater than or equal to 4 and that is false okay let's check a point on this side so what could I test what about 10 3 okay so let's test 10 3 y is greater and equal to actually I'm going to change that and the reason why I'm going to change it is it'd make more sense to have a multiple of 3 wouldn't it so let's pick 12 3 okay so write my equation my right hand side would be negative a third times 12 plus 4 negative a third times 12 is negative 4 plus 4 which is 0 so my y which is 3 is greater and equal to 0 and that is true so that means I need that side of my line so this here is the region y is greater and equal to negative a third x plus 4. Okay, one more. We have a less than sign, so it's going to be dashed. Trust me, I'll probably forget that. The equation I'm going to be sketching is 3x plus 4y equals 12. It's in the form of ax plus by equals c, so I'm going to use x and y intercepts. So when x is 0, we've got 3 times 0 plus 4y equals 12. 4y equals 12, so y is 3, so the point zero three. 3. When y is 0, we're going to have 3x plus 4 lots of 0 equals 12. 3x equals 12, so x would be 4. So that's 4, 0. Put it on my line. 0, 3, 4, 0 remembering it is a dashed line so draw my dashed line label it and now I'm going to be testing again 0, 0 doesn't line it so let's test that one we've got 3x plus 4y is less than 12 left hand side is equal to 3 lots of 0 plus 4 lots of 0 so it's just 0 okay and that is less than 12 so that works now let's test our point on this side of the line now I'm just going to test 5 0 so I have a 0 point okay so 3x plus 4y is less than 12 left hand side is going to be 3 lots of 5 plus 4 lots of 0 so that's just 15 15 is less than 12 no that's false so I need the side that includes 0 0 because that was the true bit so I need that side of the line there label my region 3x 
plus 4y is less than 12. What now? Lots of practice. So complete exercise IEAB E1 from the textbook and please remember ask for help if you need it.